So it just continue on with um, adding the same device that we added just then. So on here, we're still waiting for it to actually change, which it should change eventually. But going back to the console, you can tell that now it's being co-managed. Um, right there. So this one is actually the um, cloud attached, which I did a while back, probably a few weeks ago. This is co-managed. So once the device gets co-managed, it um, shows up here being co-managed. It's compliant. It will actually start doing quite a lot of stuff. So you can tell that it has a workplace where it's client apps, resource assets, profiles, device configuration, compliance policy, Windows update for business, endpoint protection, and office click to run. So the first thing that we'll probably do is pretty much install um, your Office 365. So we can actually check configuration our device configuration. And this will show you what's, what's actually done on the device. So the, the reoptimization, Windows 10 settings, any into profiles that I've actually created will, be, will get deployed. Um, this stuff will come in. It's only because um, that this device hasn't been set up with, um, or probably within the region or business unit, um, but that's fine. So ideally it's all kicking nicely as well. So everything's already kicked in. The managed apps, you can see what is actually getting installed or what's pending for install. So you can see right here it's waiting for install for this, um, for Office 365. Plus a whole bunch of apps. So what you saw early on was that it installed um, the remote desktop, Compi portals and Cisco Java. So if we actually go back to the actual device, we go to programs and files and features and we can check the install date. Um, saving source is going. I see it. Just go Java, but that was a school a back, I assume. I did it's a, a rough idea of what happens. So the co managed workflows have changed. And if I actually go back to here. That's where you see that it will do. Uh, um, it's now co um, That's 255 enable current current internet um, and check configurations tab. And you'll still see this as uncompliant. Don't worry about it too much. Um, it's just pretty much an order and roll. Um, since we don't have this up in group policy, um, the only way to do is actually trigger it. Um, by far it's most easiest. And then from then, you, you'll start getting lots of um, notifications. So that will take some time as well. So yeah, that's it.